Lose yourself in a good book. The Board Gosh Energy Book Club. Now, it's been 200 years since its first publication, so what better choice for this month's a book club than Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. The book tells the story of Fanny Price, who's taken from her home in uh, Portsmouth and brought to Mansfield Park in Northamptonshire to live with her mother's sister, Lady Bertram. Fanny is treated no better than a servant, and from here the story unfolds. And here to tell us more about the classic novel is Bob Johnston from the Gutter Bookshop and Emma Walsh from the Board Gosh Energy Book Club. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Jane Austen, a, a, a lady well ahead of her time, uh, we know. But this, this novel, Mansfield Park, not quite as, as famous or as iconic, maybe, as Sense and Sen Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, you know, the, the ones that we're all so familiar with. It feels a little more old-fashioned, certainly for yeah. me, a little mm. bit further away. It was written when she was slightly older, and it has a little bit less of the spirit and the comedy and the humour, and I probably enjoyed it less than, say, Emma or Sense and Sensibility for that reason. It's a little okay. bit more serious in tone. Bob, for anyone who isn't aware of the, the storyline, Paint yes, a picture so for as you us. say, you have you have poor Fanny Price, poor old Fanny Price. She <laughs> grows up. I think she's the eldest of something like nine children, down with her her mother who married beneath her, as mm -hmm. they say. Um, and so she's taken up by her aunt, her two aunts actually, um, Lady Bertram and Mrs Norris, up to live in Mansfield Park. Um, and to be brought up with their daughters, with their, with their daughters and sons. And yeah, she's treated almost like a, a servant. She's not really very welcome. She's not given any of the benefits. She has the small attic room. But poor Fanny Price, poor wet Fanny Price, um, puts up with everything that's <laughs> thrown at her. And she sits demurely in the corner and gets on and does her needlework and doesn't complain and, um, and gets on with it. And of course, in the long run, you know, all of the things develop. There is a bit of love in it. There is in the end. It's, a, it's almost a bit of an afterthought in this one. There's a bit of love in it. Um, and Fanny comes into her own, shall we say. So okay. she's, she's fine. I'll be interested to know what people think of this one. It is mm. the one that seems to divide people the most because it's not that easy to like Fanny. It's you know, not, it's no. not easy she's, to like her. Do I detect know? an enthusiasm mm. deficit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, I must admit, I, we say it's 200 years this year since its publication. It's the, the, it is worth reading. There's still lots of stuff in it to, mm. you know, that the rings home true about how people behave to each other and whatever. It did feel a little bit long-winded and a little bit slow at times. It's to say it hasn't got quite the spark. Well, of Fanny some is, of the is the, probably the least attractive of her heroines, but also yes. the one that is closest to Austin in later life. Yes, we were talking about this actually, mm. weren't we? You know, the 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 the, um, the rub of young belief in romantic love maybe has worn off slightly yeah, for Jane Austen. she's a bit jaded at this, at this stage at this writing point, the yeah. book and, and Fanny's a very good girl who does everything right and that's a little bit boring to read um, and around her everybody's doing everything wrong. But Emma, is it, or is it fair to say that she does everything right? Is it not fairer to say that she takes everything in weighs it up and analyzes it before she makes a decision so she gets it right rather than does everything right yeah she does she's very measured and very she considered she is she is very measured um she, i found her a little bit judgmental i found her um she's uh, and i suppose she has a, a position to be judgmental of because everybody around is behaving so yeah. atrociously really mm -hmm. and and that's the point of her is but is she not judgmental because she actually sees things as they are, yes. that she sees the nonsense that's going on and actually sees well, it's it for what it is. It's all placed within the time, yeah. isn't it? If, if it was written in a different time, the behaviour wouldn't be so bad and she wouldn't be so so good, I suppose. So everything in the context of time is played out quite interestingly and I find that... As a woman reading it, did you not... Did you, did, I mean, a lot of women read the book and get very angry about the fact the that, injustice. that well yeah and that yes. in some ways not a lot has changed well i th actually thankfully i feel like everything has changed there's one scene i was i was reading last week and she goes for a walk and everybody crowds around and says oh you must be exhausted oh my goodness and sit down here and you've been picking roses for the last half hour and now you've walked a mile sit down and <laughs> she's treated so <laughs> fragile and she's so weak and as you say poor fanny poor, poor fanny and, yeah, and that's so. not like any experience we have thankfully today so it is 
quite close and yet at the same time so far away from what our I did, experience What I did women. find interesting was though you're saying you know that she demurely takes everything in but actually she does have this kind of inner spark which is she rages against yeah. some of the things that happens to her inside quietly. and you hear in quietly inside she's there and she's madly in love with Edmund you know the her older cousin you know but nothing is said and nothing but she has passion inside her she, if does. You she gets me. quite jealous she just covers it all up with a nice mm -hmm. bit of so crochet, did Austin not give know? us so. enough of that spark in her maybe is that the criticism um, no it's just frustrating because in a modern world you want a heroine who says I love you or does something or says that's not fair yeah. and she doesn't she sits there and she does her needle point going like that's not right and that's not fair and that's it and, and I was going to do something place didn't do that mm. no and they yeah. didn't and I know but her other heroines did in yeah. her other novels they, they did, did a little bit more let's go to the ball and have a wonderful time yeah. I mean, no, they, I mean, I mean, they I mean, do you think of them in Pride and Prejudice you know they're sparky yeah, they, they are they yeah, have, they're they confident. have wit yeah. of their own and and what did intrigue me about this book and I wasn't expecting it's the first time I read it was for for the book club this month was um there's an extramarital affair in it who would have thought in Jane Austen <laughs> there's wives running off with other people's husbands I mean come on this is gambling. good stuff Jane Austen there's gambling there's Drinking. death there's all that good stuff as well so, so a anyone fair who bit appreciates her work now. will love us yes yeah, you, uh, will they love, love is it? strong yeah, okay. I think it's exactly. almost important to read it Divide as a collection of all yeah. her work because it's very interesting in, in the context yeah. um, and, and do you think um, that her observance of the ultimate social contract, i.e. marriage and mm -hmm. what's expected of women and what they're supposed to aspire to and what they're supposed to settle for. Do you think that it has changed dramatically? I think so and I think she's commenting as well on her difficulties with that too. Austin herself is, is Riley commenting on, on her problems with that issue. And it's interesting that the other books sort of end with people getting married and that's the start yes. of their life whereas this one people get married quite early on it's what happens after marriage. And then marriage. they fall apart yeah. then. So yeah. It's kind yeah. of interesting in that way And Jane's well. family herself I believe found the character of Fanny a little bit insipid and told her so and, and they didn't like her they didn't warm to her either and okay. Jane had reservations. Very quickly Emma uh, mm. wearing your other hat uh, as the uh, yes. ambassador, uh, would you talk to us about the Donator Library Scheme, which of course yes. was a huge success last year? Yes, oh, it was brilliant. We were so pleased. We, we basically went out and asked our customers to share their love of books and reading in their communities and nominate charities, local community groups, your local child school to receive a library. And we gave out one in Donegal and one in Mayo, and now we're giving out seven this year. Brilliant. Yeah, it's great. So it's really these, great. These are, these are worth 15, um, 1,500 euros. So it's 1,000 euros worth of books, which we'd encourage people to we'll give them credit. Times. We're going to do it seven Ooh, times. So it's a bank of books, of furniture. Yeah, and we'll help them set up and the all library the details and details on the website. What about Go the book? BGBookClub.ie. Tell us and about the book. The book books. nooks are in four cities around Ireland. They're going to be. Uh, there's one in Dublin on Wednesday. So pop down to King Street. 11 to 3 and it's a little space where you can just stop and enjoy a book for five minutes and make a nomination. Lovely. Yeah. Really nice idea. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very now, much. Now, as we've been discussing, the uh, book club choice for May is Mansfield Park by Jane Austen and if you'd like to be in with the chance of winning a book club goodie bag and versus tablet, then send your reviews of uh, no more than 50 words to us by Friday, May 23rd. Now you can email them to irelandam at tv3.ie or you can post them to the Board Gosh Energy Book Club TV3, Westgate Business Park, Ballymount, Dublin 24. Lose yourself in a good book. The Board Gosh Energy Book Club.